we all have a range of tolerance when it comes to dysregulation. People who are raised or grew up in traumatic environments usually tend to have a narrower range of tolerance, which means it's much easier for them to be dysregulated. Everyone is different. You could actually expand your range of tolerance by rewiring your nervous system, essentially healing your body. If you come from you know, a traumatic upbringing, it's important to learn skills to help you do that so that you could rewire your nervous system. So somebody who comes from a you know, chaotic or traumatic upbringing, they didn't have the most optimal upbringing, um, it could take a little bit of stress to dysregulate them. And for example, compared to somebody who has had an optimal upbringing, it could take like three stressors for them to go over their uh, range of tolerance and get stressed out and start using like fight, flight, freeze, or fawn responses. And if you don't know what those are, look them up. So as you heal, like one of the first steps I teach my clients is just how to find peace and calm in their body because they need to um, increase that range of tolerance from like narrow to wider because then they're able to deal more with life and be in a more peaceful type of mindset as opposed to always being dysregulated or being in this state where they're constantly anxious or stressed out. So I'm going to share a little bit about what I've done to help me and what I do throughout the day. So for me, I am a mother, I have a toddler, I'm also a wife, I have a husband, and I also run my own business and then just take care of the home as well too. So that's what I have going on in my life. So how am I able to find calm or moments or peace throughout my day? Because every time you do this for yourself, you're increasing your range of tolerance, which makes it easier to come back from a stressor and go back to a, a place of peace and calm. I remember growing up in a very anxious environment, so I felt like I would never be able to relax. And my mom was always rushing everywhere. She would like wake us up for school and then she would go outside and like start up the car and then just start honking for us to go. So I was always in a state of rush. Like I, I didn't, I wasn't able to relax and chill. So my childhood and adolescence was just like full of anxiety. When I stopped working in corporate, I stopped setting alarms for myself. So one of the things that I do for myself when it comes to regulating my nervous system is getting an adequate amount of sleep. I don't have an alarm. I just wake up when my body decides to wake up and I'm privileged that I'm able to do that. Another thing that I do throughout the day is just make sure that I'm taking deep breaths and like actually paying attention to what's going on in my body where I am not just holding in my breath and not taking full deep breaths. And I'm like breathing really fast because that means that I'm getting agitated or irritated or anxious. So I make sure to take deep breaths throughout the day. Another thing that I do too is I use my husband to help me co-regulate. So, <laughs> so you could actually co-regulate with somebody. If they're dysregulated, they might not be able to help, help you. But if your partner is regulated, so it usually happens when I'm dysregulated, my husband is regulated and is able to help me. And the other way around, when he's dysregulated, I'm um, regulated, so I'm able to help him. So we co-regulate by talking to each other, by hugging, um, by asking for hugs, by asking for um, what we need. So if like I am overwhelmed, I tell him like I'm overwhelmed. And I could tell when I'm overwhelmed because I start getting angry. And that's just a natural response to being pushed over your range of tolerance. If you start feeling those types of action-oriented behaviors like where you get defensive reactive you might be in fight or flight response the other thing that i do is i go outside so when you go outside under the sun if possible like your body produces serotonin and it makes you feel better um, and that's important to help you regulate your nervous system so i usually do a daily walk with my daughter so we go out together and are under the sun and we live somewhere where there's a lot of sun all the time so that's really nice. There's another thing that I do, which is called havening. If you haven't searched re research havening, it's a way to self-soothe. So essentially you could hug yourself or you could do this around your face and um, it stimulates the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve, so it helps you relax. So it's, this is one of the exercises. This is just part of it. There's more to it, but that's one of the other things that I do. And Something that I recently started doing is visualizing a safe place technique, a calming place where I'm able to 
visualize that place and calm down. I have also attached a word to it. So if I say that word, it automatically brings me to that place where I'm able to relax. And then I add bilateral stimulation, which is tapping. And it's called a, you could do a butterfly hug, which is, I can't do it now because both my hands are busy, but I'm tapping with one hand here and then the other one I'm doing it. And I'm going up and down, up and down. So those are things that I do throughout my day to help me increase my range of tolerance when it comes to stress and find little pieces of calm and peace because we are not meant to be in this dysregulated and stressful state the whole day. Our body is supposed to go up and down and people with trauma histories tend to have a harder time uh, regulating and calming down and being in that place where they feel calm and peaceful. So let me know if you want me to do more videos like these. I teach all of this with to my clients in my coaching program so if you're interested in joining group coaching send me an email and i could go ahead and send you the application all right make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more videos like these Bye bye